1884. Ethiopian calendar, 23rd day of July, 1892. Front us, a child is born, unto us a son is given. His name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the ever-living father and the prince of peace. He was the only surviving child of the union of Ras Mokenen and Waziro Yashima Bet. For the union had nine children all die, and the tenth survived to become the 225th emperor of Ethiopia. Born under the baptismal name Kremawe Haile Selassie, at a young age he took the name Tafari, an Amharic word that means the creator. Liege Tafari was his name, for Liege is the title of a young nobleman. And Liege... What's commonly known as the birthday of Hannes Alassi, with the occurrence of that being on July 23rd, the uh, Heliaco rising of Osiris, the Nile inundation, the flood waters of the Nile, which all connects with that sign of Gita in Jesus Christos, the sign of the Jesus Christos, or the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, which is a heavenly sign or astrotheological sign, and we have to connect with that, the Orit, the Zephitret, or Genesis, but I should 1 and 14, which speaks of signs, seasons, days, and years, the signs in the heavens, and compare that with Matthew 24, chapter 24, verses 27 to 31, and namely, pay close attention to verse 30. Verse 30 is a very important verse to recognize what's the sign of Lich Teferi, or the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, and compare that with Revelation chapter 12, verses 5 to 6. So all this now links with the heliacal rise or the rise of Cyrus, or what's commonly called the dark star, polar star, et al., so forth and so on. There was the birthday of Haile Selassie, what's commonly called the birthday of Ketamari Haile Selassie, which is the birthday of the Son of Man, or the sign that accompanied Jakarta, 